Hello, my friend. Everybody can ask questions, but not everybody knows about how to ask them properly because the difference in answer when the question you ask properly is dramatic. If you ask a question like that, how to learn programming, there are so many questions regarding these questions that, to be honest, a broad answer like this must be, you know, put. And we have our 17 points here. <laughs> and probably the person who is asking it, well, he is not looking for all that thing, right? Because maybe he should be specific and ask how to learn programming in Python. Oh, okay, then this is a bit more useful answer because now, well, <laughs> we are asking, answering the thing that he was thinking about, but he didn't put this here, right? Hmm, but to be honest, maybe we should provide some context, right? Because hmm, how to learn Python programming in order to create simple web application, right? Because somebody might want to create only web apps in Python. Oh, okay, so this guy needs to learn HTML, CSS, and so on, right? But to be honest, this question can be even more improved. Maybe we should ask, what are the best methods of learning Python programming to create web application? This thing, maybe let's ask uh, it in different chat, will give, as you can see, answer that, hmm, sometimes there is an error, so let's regenerate, uh, that will give some kind of open-ended answer because it's inviting to different methods and learning strategies that are effective in specific context. That's why when you ask open-ended question, you might get, get some ideas, right? But it's also a good idea to avoid ambiguity. So we could ask it like this. What are the specific steps to learn Python programming for beginners interested in developing web applications? We now are precise. We could focus on specific steps and taking into account the level of experience of the person that is asking the question, right? Because the answer will be different if we ask for advanced programmers or people who have programmed for the entire, uh, you know, um, live, right? This is very important to be, to avoid something what is called ambiguity, right? And also, there is one more thing we sh should share what we already know because as you can see he says about html and css but i have a basic no knowledge of html and css so why should i you know read <laughs> about this thing maybe you know a framework maybe you know basics of python you will have totally different answer why do you need to learn python basics when you know them right hey i already know basics like that okay so he will not suggest it then that's why it's a good idea to share what you already know.